Now that is a bird. That was a lot to say. <laughs> For you! Hey, on the fly sometimes, you just gotta do what you do. Everybody. All right, guys. Like I said, I gotta add the last missing ingredient here. The liquid gold. It actually says liquid gold on the pack. So, all right. Guess it only really took one, huh? That was a lot of cheese. Okay. All right, so before we get into this food right here, I need to get it out the way. So you know what you gotta do? What's that? I need to get this video a thumbs up. I need you to comment below, baby. And make sure you share it out, share it out. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell. All right, so we have, like I said, pretty much everything that will come on your Mexican plate. Uh, if you were to go get some food, we got beans, rice, steak, chicken. There's lettuce, tomato. There's a whole bunch of cheese. And there's something else I'm missing, but hey, it's loaded. And over here we have what? Pupusas. Pupusas. Have any of you guys ever had a pupusa? Pupusa. Pupusa? Pupusa. Pupusa. She says I just like saying pupusa. But anyway... It, to me, it tastes just like some cornbread stuff with like some meat and cheese. But we're going to get into that after we pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for us. We're proud to see you in Jesus' name. For amen. Amen. Yeah, but these are chipotle chicken and cheese stuff pupusas. Mm hmm See, I knew she knew exactly. Uh, like I said, there is something in there. So, there's chicken and some other stuff. I just like eating them how they are. Oh, uh, yeah. You gave me a spoon? Mm-hmm. For your sour cream, there's a fork right here. Mm -hmm. I don't do all that, but what's that? I actually had two before we did the thumbnail. Oops. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm gonna look pretty good. Hmm? You wanna do it or no? I'm gonna take your fries. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Doing good. Always some positive vibes and blessings. Mm -hmm. Did you get it? I got it, baby. I got it. <laughs> Almost look like fried overboard. <laughs> We're going into the last Paris, last month of the year coming up soon. The final holiday. The final countdown. Of the year. <laughs> so far the weather has been funny here. We haven't got any white snow really yet, so that's good. Oh, mm -hmm. That was a big bite for them. I know. I'm like, just stay there, bite. Just stay there. Well, why should you not give you my little mini bite? I'm trying to work my left hand. Want to some help? No. Got it. <laughs> hey everybody, like I said once again, 
I am getting close to that 4K, so please share this video out. Share this video out. I'm like 60 away or so. A little less than 60. Alright, guys. Or please share this video out. Excuse me, got everything on there. Sour cream, the chicken, beef, the tomato. I'm gonna put that on my. I'm not even gonna say it. <laughs> mm, yeah. She be making me sound like I'm saying a dirty word when I say pupusa. You know, that's your where your mind is going. <laughs> It tastes good to cheese and tomato lettuce on top. Yeah, usually you put the cardito on there. Cardito. That did on my video. Oh, yeah, she did do a video. I will drop a link to that video down below. Back, back. It'll make it come across the screen right now. But you never tasted it. No, I didn't. And it sat in the refrigerator, and we're supposed to eat it with these. Somehow we kept eating something else. I never got to them. So I never did get to get the, what's it called again? The Tito. The Tito like Tito Jackson. <laughs> I mean, these fries got crispy back here. Yeah, so I was eating. Uh, I got you got some hot sauce or something? Uh uh. Mm -mm. Oh, mouth salsa. Oh, yeah. See how little that tastes there. How a little bit taste on there. Mm -hmm. No, no, hot today. I always had to be spicy. No, I was looking for some. Um. But that's okay. I actually was gonna get some of Diablo. Oh. And you went to go get that stuff. That's what you was getting. Mm -hmm. Drinking Pepsi over here. How many guys actually like those big things of soda? I mean, what was you saying? You'd rather get well, one of those. This was the liter. If you drink soda. It's like you pay a dollar ninety or two fifty for a two liter, and then you pay two dollars for a twenty ounce. Now, one liter was a dollar and a quarter, so that was better than any of those deals. Now, are you that type guy? Do you mean you guys like that where you break down the logistics, the analytics of the price? Like, um, he is a big analytical, analytical, well, analytical mm -hmm. person, I would call you possibly, because now, even when we go grocery shopping, it'll be the deals, and they'll be like, well, technically, for 70 cents more, you can get. A pound of beef more. Mm-hmm. You've always been like that. Because it's like the the sales are like there to trick you sometimes. You know, Walmart will get you good on that though. Mm-hmm. It'd be like two boxes of this size for five dollars, and then you can get the big box, the family size, which is more seared than both of those together, and it'd be like four dollars. They always get you with the flashy wordage. Oh, we were talking about uh, uh, real girls last live. About how the Black Friday sales are really just pretty much the price you're supposed to be getting, mm -hmm. or close to the price you're supposed to be getting. I'm sure they still jack it up a little bit, but it's pretty close to what you're supposed to be paying for it. Well, most stores mark things up, or most they mark it up three times the value, you know. Mm -hmm. Like when I sold furniture, it might only cost the store 200 but they easily gonna charge eight hundred for it, mm -hmm. and then they got all that room to finagle. And no matter what, they turn in double, at least double, or not more than profit. Right. So, I don't know, all of them was like maybe because I done a lot of sales. Like he went to Kirby vacuum cleaner. You know, how many people own a Kirby vacuum cleaner? Yeah, I do. Not because of you, though. <laughs> no, I didn't say you were But, you know, you go to people's <laughs> homes and you're like, I can give you this Kirby for $1,500. Right. And then they sit there and work with you. Next, you know, you might end up digging you getting a deal because you're getting the Kirby for $1,100 instead of 15 And anything over $500 is all going to the salesman. 
Watch this how it was where I was at because it's like the supervisors make so much off of it for or whatever, team league. And whatever else you get after that, it's all on you. So let's say your base price was six hundred or whatever it was. Mm -hmm. You starting off close to two thousand and somebody finagle you all the way down to eleven hundred, you still making five hundred dollar profit. Or sales, so it was good. Mm -hmm. That's what kind of made me aware well of the wording and how things are. Yeah, that's how. Like I was telling you, how I uh, was part of that furniture club where you technically were getting you paid a member price and you were able to get the furniture at the the book price technically so you could go through all the manufacturers books and see how much they sold it to the stores for mm -hmm. and you could get that price yeah but you would have to be a member and pay a monthly annual fee and I was like oh, eventually you're paying most of it a lot. I know because it was like five thousand dollars yeah so you're paying for a lot uh huh I know that was messing with some jalapenos that was the heat you wanted some hot sauce I wanted some jalapenos well yeah so I was like you need some heat I'm still coming out good, eyes. but you're right though. Well, I'm crunchy though. Yeah, it's like a few of them in here got a little crispy. Yeah. I'll leave them in the oven a little bit. Because I was watching a football game. It was a good game down to the I last know. minute. I see what was up. And these were rally fries. This is a nice little pupusa back here. <laughs> 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 That's a nice Maybe it's the way you say it. <laughs> pupusa. Pupusa. Do you want to buy my pupusa? Mm. Mm. Yeah, they're definitely good. If you haven't tried it, or if you want to try it with the toppings, the cotillo, or the mm -hmm. I always like it. It's like cotillo, cotillo, tomato, tomato. Right. <laughs> was you getting nervous because I was staring at you? I was actually. At least you caught it this time. Instead of you lost that whole big old piece of chicken leg. You dropped the whole leg that time. I was going to say though, <laughs> if you, after you check out her recipe on her channel, how to make the stuff that goes on there, we did see Rome's eating in conversation. Mm -hmm. She had a video on these, so shout out to Rome's eating in conversation. Mm hmm. Her link is always in my description box, so you'll find a link to her channel. Yeah, when she did those, I think we had just gotten them at the grocery store. Mm -hmm. So it was so ironic, like... Who else was wanting some Right, stuff? like here we were thinking we was getting something unique and different. And then that, like, the same day or the next day, we're on the eating conversation. They were like, what? Well, the funny thing is, yeah, she probably got from Sam's Club. Remember, she's the one that gave us the three. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know. I think I was from a restaurant. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe I was a restaurant, but I remember she did give me the three remember, the three free months of Sam's Club mm -hmm. membership, and that's where we got them from. We got it from Sam's Club. Mm -hmm. So I was like, well, maybe she got it from there, but you said she probably got it from a restaurant. Yeah, I can't remember. I'm full fast than I thought. I mean, it's more, but I was trying to. Because I'm already worried about leaving them a good little view, so I've been wanting to dig into that cheese up there. Might have to take it away from y'all guys. I'm so sorry. I don't understand. You said you were full, and then you said you want to eat the cheesy stuff. No, I said I'm getting fuller faster than I thought. No, you said I might have to eat this, even though I'm full. No, I said I'm getting full. I didn't say I was full. Oh. Anyway, anyway. They catch it up on some TV shows, and then you got uh, Ghost Book. Ghostbusters. Book well, yes. Yeah, is that coming out? That's coming out a new movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's not what you going to say, though. No, I'm talking about on Stars, Ghost. Busters. No. Or the story of Tyreek. Buster. <laughs> How do you find that funny? There's a Buster in there. Mm -hmm. Only in the show. Mm -hmm. Uh oh, I heard Dina. Oh, good. I'm gonna do with it. 
She probably. I had to taste some stuff downstairs. Mm -hmm. So she probably smelled it through the door. The door's not closed. Mm. I mean, it's not the doorway. Mm. Oh, speaking of the door, when I was telling you about my show that I was watching, the neighborhood wars. Oh, you can tell them. This is got a story yeah, have for you. you guys seen the show Neighborhood Wars where it's pretty much they are getting Karen, so to speak, on film. Just people are just having disagreements, daily disagreements, whether it's a neighbor, mm. somebody that parked in your car your parking space, or is some of them like valid or they're mostly like petty stuff. Um, they're pretty much petty. I mean a Karen is usually petty, right? Right. So it's usually I mean, parking my parking so. spot really ain't petty, though. Well, I mean, in one case, the one girl couldn't park in front of her house, so she parked in front of this other lady's house, and it was in a certain spot that, I guess, maybe you weren't supposed to park, so the lady mm -hmm. backed up behind her all the way to her bumper. Oh, bumper there? Yeah. So, I mean, that's a, where it might not get petty. Mm -hmm. But the one I saw, too, was where the lady... It showed her on the camera. She's just ringing this lady's doorbell, and she's like, ring, 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 ring. She did like a hundred times. Just pushing it. It's pushing it, and then finally, the owner of the home came to the door, like, "Can I help you?" And the lady is just like, "Come outside, come outside." Like, would you answer the door? Some crazy person was ringing your doorbell excessively like that for one. Right. And then just demanded that you come outside. <laughs> and you don't even know who they are. Yeah, let me grab this bat lady. Right. But still, you don't know where they got on the other end of the door. So, of course, the lady was like, I'm not coming outside. And the other female just kept ringing the doorbell saying, come outside. Then finally, she stopped and said it all had to do with some cat that was going in her. Well, she actually said the cat was going in her house. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that's legit. You don't really want another animal inside your home. It's not sure. But so you got your window open with no screen, the cat well, jumping in through the garage. I'm assuming uh -huh. you know had the garage open, and then maybe somebody came outside and the cat you know, snuck on in, snuck on in the house possibly something like that. Hmm. You probably but, want something in there. It's got to be some cat food or something. Something. It's being nosy. Cats are just nosy like that. I never had a cat. Cats are yeah. Cats are just included. cats are sneaky. They're not sneaky. Cats are sneaky. They aren't. They get that persona, but they really aren't. Cats why? Are really why? Because they're not. They are sweet. Sweet. I cats said can sneaky. Be, cats can be just as loyal as a dog. Mm -hmm. They can meet you at the door when you come home. Like my cat actually had a couch by the door back in the day, and she would actually jump on the couch ledge. And when I was coming in the house, she'd be there like. Burr. Like her and I mean, just waiting for me. How many of y'all are just as scared of the cat as the dog? I'd rather pet a dog than a cat. Really? So let's say, would you rather pet a dog that's barking viciously, or would you rather pet a cat that is sitting there with his back hunched up and hissing at you? Which one would you rather pet? At least I know the dog's motive. If the cat is hissing at you, oh, you said hissing, hissing and arched back like a Halloween cat. I'm not trying to pet any of the one or one of those. Well, where I'm saying if you got a if you got a uh, a decent sized dog sitting there, he's not really barking, he's just chilling. You got a cat sitting there watching you. I'm gonna go well, well. with the cat. I mean, with the dog. Because it's just something about a cat. The dog, he's sitting there peaceful. He probably is peaceful. A cat, you don't never know. A cat is peaceful too, though. You don't never know about the dog. Man, them cats, I, well, I don't even have, I don't want to be about nothing that hits anyway, but I'm just saying. <laughs> I don't know. It's like cats jump and hit you in the face real quick and scratch you and do all type of stuff. Dogs, I don't know. I guess they can do all that too, but it's just something about a cat. He just seem more agile and quick and get away up and get advantage of you somehow. And there you go with that he stuff, like I was saying too. Like people that don't have certain animals, every animal, dog, he. cat is a he. Well, I always think the female animals <laughs> like, always more, I always think the females are always more vicious. Mm. Yeah, I guess so. So what was your answer then? You'd rather pet neither? 
if they're both hissing and barking, neither. Yeah. I'm just but if I had to choose a a between a cat and a dog that was both just kind of chilling, waiting to see what's going to happen, mm -hmm. observing the scene, mm -hmm. I'd probably roll up to that dog. Oh, okay. And say, what's up? And the dog be like, ah, with more teeth than the cat. Once guy. again, he has to do all that. At that point, I've made my mistake. But I'm just saying, <laughs> I trust going up to the dog before I trust going up to the cat. Okay. If you made it this far, either put a cat emoji or a dog emoji in the in the comments for which one you would rather pet. I'm both. I'm the animal whisperer. I feel like I can calm any animals down, usually. Mm -hmm. I can't although I've come across some animals that I felt like the, the whisper they didn't hear my whisper. <laughs> <laughs> but there were some that I was like, mm -hmm. Oh little doggy here, kitty. But yeah, my cat was like that. You remember my cat, Cleo? Mm -hmm. She was kind of, I guess you could say sneaky, because she'd sit on the back of the couch and just kind of look at you. And then definitely, definitely, if you tried to pet her, she was like... I guess we're our last round here. Look, he was small, can get around, he didn't have his collar on, but... Mm -hmm. Diva ain't gonna sneak up on me. Oh, no, no, no. She's not gonna sneak up I'm just worried about that cat. Well... Well, Mr. Cat Warrior. Yeah. <laughs> well, speaking of cat, put pussy. Put. <laughs> this was a kitty. This is a kitty themed video. Pretty huh? much, huh? <laughs> a cat. And I pup. can't even say it now, cause now I'm just gonna say pupusa. Yeah, pupusa. pupusa. Hope you enjoyed our pupusa, our Mexican plate fries. Guess okay. I might might even title that. Mmm. Okay. And um. I said, I just need to do something for me and they can get out of here. What's that? <coughs> Excuse me, clear my throat. I need you to give this video a thumbs up. I need you to comment below. below baby. I'm going to need you to share baby. it out. Share it out. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell. I'm Big Belly Bob. And I'm Miss Shan. Peace. Bye, guys. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on, y'all? It's your girl, Real Girl Food World, and I'm here to tell you all about my channel. I too have a mukbang channel in which I eat real food and have real conversations in front of you guys. Um, you will also hear my children um, or see them in the videos with me. I do cooking vlogs, I do family vlogs, I have game nights on Saturdays, and I also have channel memberships available where you get a little bit of extra perks in addition to being subscribed to my channel. I do everyday videos, um, and I hope to see you as a member or subscriber of my channel. Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Ty. It's your girl Shara. And we are Team Jackson. Look, y'all come over to our channel and hang out. We do mukbangs. Pranks. We do vlogs. Cooking. All that. Y'all come hang out. Look, we like to have fun. We like to do what it do. Y'all come over. We see y'all soon. Peace. I'm Lisa. And I'm TK. And we're from Living, Living Life, Life with, with Lisa, Lisa Lisa. Yes, guys, we're Living Life with Lisa Lisa. And here on our channel, we do DIYs, we do home decor, vlogging, shopping hauls, and so much more. And we also have a segment titled in the kitchen with TK. Yes, so if you're interested in any of these, please consider subscribing to our channel. You won't regret it. And remember, it's free.